Welcome Scorpio. This is your November 2022. Tarot card reading. Happy birthday. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. Anyways, I'm gonna get straight into the reading. If you knew such as came to talk right. If you knew such you must subscribe now. All of this stuff. I swear guys, you said something was accurate because I messaged you this month. I'm gonna get some more rice in. I'm gonna have my scorpio. So noisy. So we have my scorpio so noisy. Some of you guys might be dealing with a companion here. This person's a goddess to you in their, in their eyes. They're like perfect. This person might be a liberator, someone that helps you free yourself from beliefs or negative thought patterns. They could wear white a lot. They could be a healer for some. You guys are very, what's the word for a detective? You guys are always on the lookout for something. You guys are also a magical child. You guys could have also played a lot outside as a kid with the animals and insects. I see fairies. And you know the little the things on the ground that grow? I don't know what it's called. I forgot what it's called. But he used to blow it and then you, the thing goes and you make a wish. I forgot. You guys played with those as a kid. I was been through a lot though. It made you a warrior. It made you really strong. You guys could be really close to God. Or believe really heavily in God. You guys are a great mediator. Or is this person, this companion that you're dealing with? Someone here is also studying alchemy. I fucks with it. I do. Alchemy. That's like. That's different. Let me post something random right there. Spirit God, ancestors, kingdoms, accurate, concise messages to Scorpio, November 2022. Scorpio is on the right hand. You guys are vibrating high. Go pull around with my vibrations. And I'm hearing that song by Lil Derek. Don't wanna put you in what you talking in the open, everything under the sun. Somebody's saying she's so deep. She's so deep. Some of you guys may work at fast food or eat a lot of fast food or Chinese food. What else? Some of you got a new job. You guys can be feeling heartbroken, bullet in the heart, or something that happens. So you guys might live in the mountains or visit in the mountains. And you got that yellow you got Fendi here. Somebody wears a lot of Fendi. Oh, obsessed with Fendi. Fendi prints on. A bit on. Bitch, a bit on. Somebody talking shit in their mama house. I folded. Do you see? Somebody folded talking shit in their mama house. Somebody lives in Miami or traveling to Miami. Oh, you might be wanting to move to Miami if there you want or you're thinking about it. Do it, Scorpio. Somebody teaming up here. Anything else? Somebody's baby daddy or father is teaming up with somebody here because they dead weight. And you don't want to hold on to their ass no more. Yeah, we got Pa. <laughs> Pennsylvania could be significant. Some of you guys might live in Pennsylvania and you're moving to Miami. Or you live in Purge City, Illinois. Yeah, it's all about money. That's all these motherfuckers care about, I swear to God. Now, let me go in this again. You guys are vibrating high. You guys can be eating a lot of fast food, Chinese food. I work there. I see a new job happening. You're getting some money. These people are fighting you about money. You see daddies, be your dad or your baby father, stepfather teaming up with other people. If you was thinking about moving, 
especially to Miami or the mountains, go do it. This person hurt you really, really bad. There's somebody that you know, nobody would do this to you, and they did. Something about Pennsylvania here. This person could be from Pennsylvania, lived there at one point. This person's dead late. You guys could be like Fendi Prince, something like you wear Fendi or something like that. Somebody talking shit in their mama house because they can't get to you. Tell me why the niggas always got a cloud quick. <laughs> I forgot that that song's called. What's the present energy for my Scorpio Sun rising November 2000? Yeah, you fall out of love. You got me falling into hate. You're trying to change for the best, but you change for fate. Facts. You got to be dealing with a uh, water sign. And this person betrayed you. They do y'all feel betrayed. Feel like they beat you like a slave. That's a woozy song of betrayed. What's the reason for us energy from the Scorpios? All right. Like I said, keep closing cycles with the world card here. Some of you guys like been feeling like, eh, Scorpio Cancer Pisces. So this could have been the person that you cut cutting off. Yeah, baby, daddy, dad, whatever. It's a water sign. And you coming out victorious in this or so on. And you're going to look better too. Like some of you guys' appearance is looking better. Your skin could be clearing up. I feel like you guys are starting to date or talk to somebody new that really got your interest. And this person's mad, even though you're not really sneaking around with it. This person feel like you're sneaking around. Well, no. This person could be a tourist. Or they might try to take you to court if you got kids with them. Just leave a Gemini Aquarius man. But I definitely see you moving on. It's going to be a lot of gossip about you moving on, too. Like you're going to hear a lot of gossip. People saying he say, she say shit. Because you got the Ten of Pentacles here. You're going to move on. Not only are your money going to look better, but you're going to have your new, your new person. You know, your little family. Cause I definitely see a pregnancy coming. Yup, the world card, four cups. You bored with this old person. You like bye, bitch. You starting from scratch. The full card, you see that zero. Some of you guys might be still single, but I definitely see you talking to somebody new. What's the future energy? November 2022 for my Scorpio Sunrise experience. What's the Future energy. Yeah, you're really going to be ending it for sure in the future. It's in a while. you over it. Yeah, it might hurt Five of Swords because you might get in a real bad argument with this person. But you, like I said, with the Magician card, you manifested something better for yourself. Like, you're tired of fighting and competing with other people for this person. Are they really worth it? And I feel like you got a judgment call on this. You got like a whole, you know, the light bulb moment when the light bulb finally goes off. I think the light bulb moment. Yeah, Scorpio energy. <laughs> you ended it at the death card. This is your card. He's like, oh, no, I get too much money to be dealing with this. Queen of Pentacles. My bank account too good. Some of you guys might be physically moving. Six of Swords. Like I said, some of you guys might be moving to Pennsylvania, Miami. And this is going to make you heal for sure. Yep, you're going to be moving and be happy as hell. I'm not saying you're going to be happy. You're going to get your new man, the emperor card. You got the options if you got even with that man. And you're going to be out of this hangman reverse energy. You're going to be knowing exactly what you want out of life and going for it. What's the f advice card for my Scorpio Sun Rising? The advice card is the devil. This person is the devil. Get away from it. Yeah, they're not happy for your success, though. Some card reverse. They're not offering you anything positive with the page of cups reverse. Damn, page reverse? How immature can I be, bro? Yeah, this person's a player, Knight of Wands. They fuck around. That's what they do. And at the bottom of the deck, you need to leave Eight of Cups, this King of Cups alone. A tower moment is happening. Ace of Wands. Right now, you're working hard. Because you're meeting somebody new, your future husband and or wife. This new person is nothing but three or four of the heartbreak. They are not balanced to a pinnacle reverse. 
And you're gonna look 20 times better before this year is over, if you haven't already noticed. Once you start focusing on you, all that other shit it just goes out the window, like, right? Let me post some rebel deck. I need a new deck. I've already ordered some new decks, so y'all should be seeing something too. What else did you have on Scorpios? November. Stop fucking whining. No one wants to listen to that shit. Complaining makes you weak. You have the strength. Change your world. Do it. Damn, that's rough. <laughs> it's dark and you don't see a fucking thing. Get it your head out your ass, pronto. What the hell? Money. I told y'all, y'all got money. Make it rain in these holes. You guys are winning right now. You got a good thing going. Don't ruin it. You need some yoga. Work out more. Ancient shit is cool. Anything else? Spirit wants you to detox, drink a smoothie, unfriend that house, and throw some shit out. Shame, or guilt, regret, and guilt are bullshit. Forgive and let it go. Stop obsessing over the past. You are not the center of the universe. And you need a big hug. Squeeze. And it says, you are being shady. Watch out, shit, you're ugly. So you know you've been being shady. Be nice. And you got to be fucking grateful in reverse. You guys haven't been grateful. Any else advice? This new person or this old person could be a Gemini that you're fighting with. It's time to cut them out. They're, they're annoying. This new person could be a water sign. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Or Aries, like... Very masculine too. Alright, Scorpio, this is your reading. I hope you enjoy this reading. This video thumbs up and I'll see you in the next reading. Peace.